to move on from our last lesson where we learned how we can save uh, the user's information, in this particular case, uh, the customer's information, and we are going to learn how we can show it to the driver that's getting the, the request. So, a request is made by the customer, and the driver will get the full information of the customer, his photo, his name, and his phone number in his screen with no problem. So, it is, we've already done it, but we'll learn how to, we, we can implement it to the, the, the driver activity. So, we'll do some copy and pasting around because it will be really fast and really simple. So let's get right into it and go into our activity driver map and we'll build the, um, the layout that's going to have the customer's information. So we'll have a linear layout which will be, uh, let's make it match parents and wrap, con uh, wrap content in the height. Then We'll choose the ID, which will be customer info. Then the gravity will be bottom because that's how um, Uber app has it. The orientation will be horizontal. And the background will be how will we do it? Let's make it white. Yeah, white I believe will work out good. And dry color white. And for now we'll set the visibility to gone. Uh, this visibility will be changed uh, whether or not the driver is in is doing some uh, work, uh, is working or not. So, yeah, if he is working, then we'll make it uh, visible, and if it's not, then not so much. So, let's make the now the image view. So, the image of the user will be displayed in here, and we'll make it an ID of customer profile image. Oops, forgot the at plus id slash, okay. Then we'll put as, uh, an image just as a placeholder. Source. And this uh, placeholder will work even for the, the users that don't have an image uh, set at the current moment. Let's put a padding just so that it doesn't touch the, the borders of the, of the layout. And now let's get into the text. So linear layout, wrap content, wrap content. It will be vertical because it will contain the, both the name and the number. Orientation vertical. And let's set the padding left. Left to 40 SP. And now let's place the text views. Wrap content, wrap content. ID, customer name. And padding bottom 10 SP. Padding top 20 SP, and now we can copy and paste that and do the same for the phone number of the, um, the customer. Phone. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I believe so. So we can move on to the, the actual code, and now let's connect uh, all of these items to the driver map activity. It is kind of a boring process, but it is one that has to be done, unfortunately, so let's go ahead and do it. So the first one will be the linear layout, let's say, and 
customer info. If you want to skip ahead and move on from these connections and everything, you can check my description. I always have the um, each and every single part of the video, so you can skip the parts that you are not interested in. Uh, because this is quite monotonous and everyone can do this so be my guest if you wish to do that for now we'll do this and now let's take care of the text views customer name and m customer phone okay Now we have to. How is this mail? Okay. We need to do the find view by IDs. I heard that there that um, a library exists that makes this quite easier. Customer info. Wait. Uh, let me just see. Customer info. I think, ah, forgot the. It is customer with the first a U, then a no, I believe. Let's fix that. Okay, so as I was telling you, there's a, a library, I believe, that handles these for you. So I'll look into it because I really don't fancy having to be always doing find view by IDs and all of that. It is a quite a re repetitive job and one that I don't like. This isn't programming in my opinion, it's just boring bureaucracies per se. So yeah, I'll look into it and maybe do a video on that. So let's see. So for now, image view. and customer profile image and cust customer name text view customer name and now for the phone And finally, that's it. Now let's move on to the more serious code. And now to show the... What? Wait, there's an error? Where? Wait. Isn't it... Oh well. I see, then, ah, oh, okay, the error is gone. So um, let's move on to the serious code. And in order to know if we need to show the driver's information or, or not, we can go into our, this, um, into this function that is always checking to see if we have uh, a pending job or not. So as you can remember, if, and if you don't, please check out the lesson where we did this. If this uh, child exists, that means that we have a, a current job ongoing. And if so, then we'll get the customer info as well as the pickup location. So we can actually just copy and paste that and change instead of pickup location, let's call it info. Okay. So now that we have this, we can go into our customer settings activity and just grab the code because it is basically the same. Grab the get user info and paste it here. Okay. And now instead of get user info, we'll get the, the get assigned customer info and copy and paste that inside here. Now we need the database, uh, M customer database, and we can as well go grab it from the customer settings activity and now 
we need to say that this is database reference and instead of user ID we have the customer ID which you can always grab from there okay so that's almost uh, it we need to do one more thing before we take care of all of these uh, errors which is as you can remember we have the vis visibility set to gone in the beginning of the activity so we need to change this customer info layout into visibility uh, visible so to do that uh, we just say m customer info dot set visibility view dot visible okay and then when the driver is no longer working when we want to set it to gone so that it doesn't show the previous uh, user so we can go into get assigned customer and just in, uh, paste it in the this else which signals um, a job that no longer is a job so a job that's done and we can put it to gone okay so now we'll get uh, we'll change this a bit so we'll say add uh, listener for single event value event because that's the most logical thing to do and instead of doing all of this we are just going to grab the map paste it there and instead of m name field it is m customer customer name instead of phone m phone field it is m customer phone it just means basically the same but we gave a different name so to be more concise with the code so that's the best thing to do so load this into the end customer profile image and we can cut that out and that's it now uh, let's just uh, inside here let's just clear the m customer name and customer info and everything else because it may take some time to load the, the customer information and so because the, the customer info is already showing it, it would look bad if it showed the previous customer and you can take care of this by doing an, a series of things you can move this uh, set visibility to visible to inside here that way it would only show when the customer info had been found and it will probably look nicer but you can also do it like we did in, in here and put um, how can you say it uh, a loading you know that Android has that loading circle and you can place it inside there and it would look nice as well so it is completely up to you I'm doing that this way because it, it is the, the simplest way you do what you think looks best for now this is only a proof of concept just to show you that it is possible and e relatively easy to make um, an app like this so r.mipmap dot uh, IC default user and that's it we're done it is working I've already tested it so I'll encourage you to do the same and yeah let me just double check it just to see if everything works out uh, ta -ta -ta. yeah I believe that's all so yeah if you have any questions please let me know it is all for today I'm trying to do my best to, to publish as many videos as I can because I know you guys want to see it but I'm having some trouble because my college is starting and so I don't have that much time but I'm trying to push as out as many videos as I can uh, on this series and on the Tinder series and now on the um, speed running code series which I which I quite like if you haven't checked it out please do I link it now in the screen so as always please subscribe it helps me tremendously and we have been growing 
a lot in these first two months that we have the channel we are already up to 400 subscribers so thank you all so very much if you haven't checked out my my channel please do check out my other videos donate if you can obviously i have my patreon down below and we are already have some some patreons so thank you all very much for for supporting me in that way so yeah that's all for today i'll see you again tomorrow and ciao